Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So if you watch my videos here, you know I'm a pretty big fan of the American Silver Eagle. It's the coin of my country, it's the most recognized here in the United States, and when you go into your local coin shop here in Central Florida, it is the number one silver coin that is bought and sold. However, over the last few years, we've seen kind of a breakaway in premiums coming to the American Silver Eagle in particular. The premiums are just really high on this silver coin. And so in order to stack silver at a more affordable rate, because after all, all of the coins and rounds you see here are one troy ounce, I've got a few options to show you today for those that are looking for coins and rounds to stack outside of the American Silver Eagle. So if you wanna save some cash in silver stacking, stay tuned to this video. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So you're here today because you wanna stack silver in 2022, but you don't wanna spend a whole lot of your fiat currency or cash to do so, right? You need a little green in your pocket so you can afford to pay your rent, drive your car, all those expensive things while saving for your future in silver, namely silver coins or silver rounds. So I've got a couple of examples here, five coins and five rounds. These are some of my personal favorites. Now, a couple things to put out. One, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a guy with a phone that decided to record some silver and gold and put it on YouTube. And people started to come and watch it. And that's how we got here today. So these are just the things I'm doing, the lessons I've learned as somebody who's been stacking silver pretty consistently now for several years. So we're gonna talk about five coins. And let's differentiate coin versus round because we also have five rounds down here. So. Coins are sovereign minted, meaning they're coming from a mint that is a part of the government of that nation. Think about it this way. If you go and buy an F-150 truck, that's a Ford. It's minted, actually built by a private company. If it was built by the United States government, it would be a United States F-150. So think of coins as United States, Canada, Great Britain, Australia, Austria. Those are some of the examples we'll show you today. And think of silver rounds, even though they contain the same amount of silver and in many cases are the exact same purity of three nines or four nines fine, they are minted by private companies. Individual mints, something that I or you could go out and you know, start a business doing. All right, so let's get started. My favorite five coins to stack are going to be the ones that are the most recognizable. The ones that when you walk into a coin shop, a jewelry shop, or if you were to try to sell them on the secondary market through Amazon or eBay or potentially other social media groups, you don't have to explain to anybody what they are, all right? The coins themselves speak for themselves because they're coming from um, you know, pretty stable Western nations in general, not always the case, but usually the case, with history and security, okay, that's the other thing. So they're they're well known and they have some security features. So let's go ahead and start with my favorite and that's gonna be the Silver Canadian Maple Leaf. Now this is my honest 100% favorite silver coin to stack outside of the American Silver Eagle. The American Silver Eagle is the uh, number one coin for me. I'm just trying to continue to stack silver without uh, going too heavy on those American Silver Eagles when there is a $10 per coin premium to pay on them. So if you want to pay closer to $5 or $6 over spot, which is generally the going premium on the Canadian Silver Maple Leaf, then here is a 2022 option for you to consider. We've got radial lines. Those are a part of the security feature with this silver coin. You've got a reeded edge. You've also got the holographic Canadian maple leaf here on the coin. And if you look real close, you'll see 22 for the year 2022 inside that maple leaf. So four nines fine. You're not gonna run into the milk spotting issues with the 2018 and newer silver Canadian maple leaves. These are cheaper, they're just as well recognized, they are in demand, and some would argue even more beautiful than the American Silver Eagle when you look at the Canadian maple side of the coin. So this is a 38 millimeter coin. I will have information in the video description section. Uh, just full disclosure, those are affiliate links. So no cost to you, but if you do decide to purchase any uh, supplies, 
uh, I do get a very small kickback from Amazon.com. All right, so that's the Canadian silver maple. Let's look at another good option, and that's going to be the silver Australian kangaroo. Now, this one will run into the potential milk spot situation, okay? You cannot completely avoid milk spots with the silver kangaroo. Most of the other Perth Mint coins, uh, you're not going to worry about milk spots so much. But with the standard coin of Australia, that it that is this Australian kangaroo from 2022. This is also a four nines fine silver coin. So uh, very well refined and also much cheaper than the American silver eagle, even cheaper than the Canadian silver maple leaf. So you can get these uh, for about $2 less. I mean, I'm going to go with three to $4 uh, over spot in premium per coin for the 2022 silver kangaroo. So also has the radial lines which add security to this particular coin. It's not uh, one of the best coins coming out of the Perth Mint, uh, but if you're looking for a low premium, four nines fine option, and you don't mind the queen being on your coins, then you're going to save about $2 per coin over the silver Canadian maple leaf, okay? Another option coming from South Africa, and this one has a lot of history, namely with the gold version of this particular coin, is the Krugerrand. Now, Paul Kruger, who's featured here on this side of the coin. Uh, that's where the Kruger comes from. And the Rand is the actual currency of South Africa, the South African Rand. So when you add the two together, the Kruger Rand, you get the official coin of South Africa. So this is a 2022 version. Uh, same thing applies with the kangaroo. You may not avoid milk spots with your purchase. Okay, this one is a very clean example. Uh, but kangaroos, and the South African Krugerrands are known to milk spot, okay? They, it can happen. And it, that is not something that is a result of me touching the coin or, uh, you know, leaving the coin laying out on the table. That is going to be your tarnish, okay? Uh, which is completely different. Milk spots, they come from a uh, residual process of cleaning silver at the mint, okay? So I'm going to show you a milk spotted. Uh, let's go ahead and grab, actually, I've got some better examples here. Okay, so you can see some milk spots off to the left of this silver round. You see that kind of white milky haze there on this silver round and also down here in, in, the, in the bottom right. All right, that is a milk spot. That is from a cleaning process at the mint. It has nothing to do with uh, touching the silver. I see that in the comments section all the time. Uh, do your research before you leave comments like that, okay? So uh, let's move on. So we've showed you three examples here. Let's go with potentially the cheapest, and I would consider it to be the least popular option uh, here in the USA of the five that I'm showing you, and that's going to be the Austrian Philharmonic. Uh, this does not have a reeded edge, which does make it unique. It's kind of like a token. It's very uh, polished and smooth here on the edge, and is also 37 millimeters in diameter, so it's going to be the least wide of all of the coins, uh, but it's the thickest because it is one troy ounce, just like everything else. Let's go ahead and flip it over. Uh, these come from Europe. These are the uh, Austrian Philharmonics. They are actually backed by the government for one and a half euro. Obviously, the intrinsic value or the value of the silver exceeds that uh, significantly. So um, I would just look at that as uh, not, not take it too seriously, if you know what I mean. It's just something that all of the uh, sovereign mints do. You know, they stamp it with a dollar, a euro, a yen, whatever. So here you go. Here is the Philharmonic. These are known to milk spot as well. That's something to consider. You can tend, tend to get these a little cheaper. I just happen to notice here with uh, dealing with my coin shops that they are less popular than the other options that I have shown you. So let's go ahead and show you probably the most popular over the last two years and uh, my favorite when it comes to a low premium, beautiful silver coin to stack, and that is going to be the Britannia. Now, in 2021, this particular design was refreshed and some security features were added to the silver coin. Uh, this is a favorite in the stacking community. You can get milk spots on these silver coins. Uh, these are very, very reflective, highly polished, highly detailed silver coins. So uh, there is a lot going on when it comes to the Britannia. Uh, like the other coins, two pounds is stamped here on this silver coin. So once more, you do have a currency uh, backing from the uh, British government here on the Britannia. So beautiful silver coin, plenty of security features. These are getting uh, pretty popular since the refresh in 2021. So this is just the second year 
of the enhanced security features on the Silver Britannia. Uh, this is a favorite of mine here on the channel. I've made many videos on this silver coin. If you want to know more about uh, those security features, check out my video catalog. I've got uh, hundreds of videos on silver now, so uh, go ahead and check that out. So those are five great options to consider over the Silver American Eagle as far as a silver coin here in the United States or in North America uh, to stack and make the bulk or the, how should I say, the um, the backbone of your silver stack when it comes to saving and putting away wealth in a physical, tangible silver coin or round uh, here in North America. So let's go ahead and move on to some silver rounds. Once more, these are not coming from a national mint. Uh, these are just the silver rounds that I tend to like the most. And I like them because of their beauty, uh, their availability, of course. Recognizability is just as important, right? You got to make sure that what you're, you're stacking and holding is something that people know and understand. I've said it before, if you have to explain to somebody what it is when you're trying to sell it, uh, you've, you've failed. Okay, you're never going to get uh, its true value that way. So let's go ahead and move on to the silver round. So I've got a few sunshine minting or SMI examples here, and I like these because uh, these planchets that these particular rounds are stamped on, all right, so before there's any design put on to this actual round, uh, these are the same planchets that the U.S. Silver Eagles are used. Okay, SMI supplies them to the U.S. government, so you're getting the same planchet. So this is a design, this is the Walking Liberty design, which is a historical design very much like the Silver Eagle. So let's grab that Silver Eagle once more and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so you can see that the SMI round to the left is smaller than the American Silver Eagle. This is a 39 millimeter round. Like all generic silver rounds, they are 39 millimeter. Whereas the American Silver Eagle is over 41, so a little wider, uh, but you do get the same amount of silver. So let's go ahead and flip it around. And with all the SMI silver rounds, you are going to get their uh, mint uh, technology. It's actually a security stamp that is put into the silver rounds. So you can get a basically a decoder, just like the ones you would get out of a cereal box as a kid. It's just a little lens that you can hold over the silver round and it will verify that this is indeed real and authentic, okay? So that is a security feature of the uh, Sunshine Mint Silver Rounds. This is one example here, kind of a mimic of the American Silver Eagle, which itself was a continuation from the original Walking Liberty half dollar design. So there is the Walking Liberty or the uh, Silver Eagle knockoff Silver Round. Let's go ahead and show you another popular design. That's going to be the Morgan. All right, so you all know what Morgan silver dollars are. Historical 90% silver dollars from the United States. Uh, they were actually followed up with the um, uh, the peace dollar. So they, they ran until 1921, and then in 1921, the peace dollar uh, became the $1 90% silver coin in the United States. Now, this is the original Morgan design here on a silver round. You're getting one troy ounce, that same security feature there for the lens coming from the Sunshine Mint. Uh, these are also very, very reflective, and they have some nice um, uh, uh, features here on the actual Morgan design. You can see it's really nice. They did a great job at the Mint uh, putting this particular silver round together. Uh, just like the other Sunshine Minting silver rounds, these can be had typically a little cheaper than any of the coins that I've shown you. Uh, you can get uh, Philharmonics, Britannias, Kangaroos, and even the Krugerrands occasionally uh, pretty close to the price of these silver rounds. Okay, so let's show you the last of the sun. Actually, I've got two more sunshine minting. So this is the standard sunshine minting silver round. Uh, same weight, same purity, just a different design. You've got a highly polished background with the actual SMI minting logo. You got an eagle with the sun, hence the sunshine minting. Same security feature one troy ounce three nines fine silver now all of these silver rounds from smi uh can milk spot it can happen i haven't seen it so much on the buffaloes morgans and the walking liberty designs but i do see it quite a bit on the standard kind of uh, smi one troy ounce silver round this example right here so there you go that's another one then my favorite from the SMI and probably the most famous is the Buffalo design. Okay, you've got a Native American here, uh, the same general design you'll see on the gold Buffalo coming from the US Mint. As you can see a theme here, the Sunshine Mint decided to 
replicate and reproduce those historical famous designs coming from the U.S. Mint because they are favorites among stackers, investors, collectors. So here is the SMI Buffalo, very reflective, uh, got a lot of design in it, just like the Morgan Silver Round. So if you're looking for a pretty nice looking Silver Round uh, that's going to be cheaper than the coins that I mentioned as far as uh, the price over spot that you would pay to purchase this one troy ounce Silver Round, now uh, this is a good option. So here's the Buffalo, same security right there in the middle and uh, a very nice Silver Round to consider. And then lastly, we have the Asahi kind of updated Buffalo Silver Round for 2020. This is actually even stamped 2021. This is my overall favorite when it comes to Silver Rounds right now to stack. Uh, you've got a lot going on here as far as security. Check out the checkered background. You've got uh, kind of raised and in features uh, just inside the main edge of the Silver Round here. That really nice looking uh, Native American there with the flowing headdress 2021, which is polished inside uh, as compared to the more subtle soft features here on this silver round. And when you flip it over, you get a kind of a different take on the American bison or buffalo. You've got liberty, independence, and freedom. Those are three very important words to, uh, you know, most of the minted coins here in the United States, keeping with the patriotic tone of most of the coins that do come out and uh, currencies that come out, that is, uh, different types of currency from the United States Mint, whether it be uh, bills, you know, dollar form, or actual minted coins. So you've got a nice white frosted field here with the incuse words freedom, uh, and then the polished background with the kind of uh, white frosted American bison there. So this is an absolutely beautiful silver round, and this one comes from the Asahi Mint. Asahi makes some really quality silver round. So let's go ahead and grab that silver eagle one more time. There you go, guys. That is going to be 10 different options to consider outside of the American silver eagle. I will be buying about two American silver eagles uh, per week. That puts me on track for about, you know, 100 American silver eagles during 2022. I am working on filling a monster box, but the majority of the purchases I'm going to make will be for the cheaper options that you see here. That is less premium over spot to buy and hold some of these other silver coins and rounds. And these are examples of very well known, okay? Very well known, they're recognized, they're liquid, very easy to sell, buy and sell. So those are the ones that I think any stacker should, uh, you know, focus on when it comes to holding wealth in a silver coin, all right? So obviously not for collectors, collecting is completely different. So if you were here to, uh, you know, uh, look at the, these particular coins and rounds from a collector standpoint. These are not the ones for you. These are uh, very common, uh, high numbers minted uh, each year. So this is the kind of silver that you want to put away uh, to hedge or to hold wealth in silver. Thank you guys for tuning in. Plenty of videos in my video catalog. Please take a look down in the video description section for more information on how you can stay up to date with this channel and all the stacking we're doing here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay safe, everyone. And remember, I will never ask you to contact me in the comments section. So if you see WhatsApp or Telegram or any of those uh, imposter comments down there, it's not me. It's not me. So, uh, you know, use your brain, be smart, and uh, don't give them any information. All right, guys, have a great one, and we'll see you soon. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel.